You have two types of contract termination, termination for no reason or any reason, and termination for cause. Either termination type can apply to only one party or both. Termination for no reason or any reason speaks for itself. You don't need a reason to terminate. In contrast, termination for cause means you must point to a specific reason why you can terminate. This might include breaching the contract, being found guilty of a crime, filing for bankruptcy, or any number of other reasons. Some contracts include a cure period, giving a party, let's say, 10 days to cure the reason before you can terminate based on cause. Additionally, you might have both termination types. You have the right to terminate for no reason or any reason, whereas the other party can only terminate for cause. What termination type you include in your contract usually comes down to negotiating power and return on investment. If the contract, for example, requires you to front load a lot of the work or capital, then to protect your investment, you should only allow the other party to terminate for cause. Otherwise, you could be in a situation where you lose money or other resources because of the other party's early termination. Hey, Emma, just so you know, I can terminate your contract for no reason or any reason, mm. but you need cause to terminate your contract. Okay. Just making that really clear. Thank you. So just keep that in mind. Okay, not that I would ever do that. Because hey. you're amazing. Of you're course, like a rock star. Right. All right, so you can also approach this with a hybrid approach. Here's how that, that, that would work. You give both parties the right to terminate for no reason or any reason, but you require, let's say, 60 days advance written notice. Emma, it's like, you know, two years advance written notice, just by the way. Okay. So, although either party can decide to terminate the contract without proving cause, both parties must still stay in the contract for at least 60 days, helping mitigate any losses due to early termination. When including the requirement for 60 days advance notice, parties will often also allow for immediate termination if cause can be shown. So it combines both termination types into one termination clause. As you can see, there are a lot of ways to address contract termination. Need help? Reach out to inprimelegal.com and schedule a strategy session. And don't hesitate to download our customer agreement checklist, which includes the 10 most ignored and overlooked provisions that should be in your customer agreement.